please. Mike Palmer. Here. Bruce Gallagucci. Here. Bill Henderson. Here. Neil Lyons. Here. Joe Colosimo. Here. Joe Baducci. Here. Here. Right, Sherry is absent. Uh, Mayor de Blasio is absent. Solicitor Tom McDermott. Here. Engineer Jay Sites. Here. Our manager Lori Collins. Here. Police Chief Chad King. Here. Fire Chief Bill Chilio. Here. Dr. GMS Daniel. Uh, Council would like to call Mary Weiss to the. I promise I'll be short. I hear you. I am already. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's anxious about that pink game, and so is my boss. So I hope that he will be in and he'll be in a good mood tomorrow. Anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit, very little time, about what we're into over at the Historic Society. Uh, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the old railroad station, we will be talking about the gradual development of the high schools in this area, particularly in the heart of Bridgeville. And I can remember um, over there on the wall, there's a 1913 graduation. So that was not Bridgeville, it was Allegheny County at that point. So there is work room. A lot of interesting stuff that we'll learn as we go. Uh, one thing I want to mention, we had a member who was over 100 years old, and she passed away two weeks ago. She was the first May Queen that Bridgeville High School ever had in the year 1934. Her maiden name was Bedoni, and she lived on Chestnut Street. Uh -huh. I think your house, but I'd like to hear No, ben, I had Ben's house. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she, that's where she lived in Colorado. Uh, the bake sale is this weekend. I gave everybody a good brochure or a flyer. Uh, Friday morning, we'll try to get there at 9.30, so you people want the goodies. Actually, the hours are 10 to 3. Saturday, 10 to 1. And remember, it's Mother's Day, so it's perfect gift to get your mother, your wife, your daughters. <coughs> who fit the whole family. Um, last month I brought up a little bit about the parking authority and I want this organization, I really want you to think very carefully about it. Um, for example, they have given us two tags for the month of May. You have to go into the History Center, raining, 100 degrees, freezing, matters not, you have to go there to get the tag, to put it in your car, and when you leave, you have to go get it and bring it back. There has to be a more creative way of doing this, and I'm just suggesting that maybe someone here has a better idea. Uh, the tags are not going to work. It's just not going to. What really threw me for a loop, in November, everything was 25 cents, and rightfully it should have been up to 50 cents. So I mean, no doubt about that. However, I found out that if you don't have three quarters to put in the kiosk for that first hour, you can use your credit card. There's also a $2 charge on the credit card, mm -hmm. which means that for $2.75, you'll think twice about whether you want to order something and pay that price to pick up when you normally didn't have that. I think it's time for this group to really start thinking about what to do with this. I think it's pretty we good are. job. I mean, it's, and I'm, I'm not going to say anything yep. more right now yep. because okay. you want to get to that hockey No, no, that's fine. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Mary. Mr. Fryer. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to state for the record that uh, Joe Seitz is unquestionably the best municipal manager I've ever, ever had the opportunity to work with. Yeah. At any rate, I have some questions for him tonight. <laughs> uh, um, uh, the last time we, we spoke, it was about the Seven Lane Bridge. The Army Corps of Engineers had to measure the creek flow underneath to make sure the new bridge would suffice. I was wondering if Joe or Lori or any of you guys have heard anything about that. No, we haven't got any update from, from the uh, state wall. Well, I mean, that was a that was at a meeting we had at PennDOT where PennDOT brought that up and um, 
I guess we could maybe contact them and ask them yeah. if uh, yeah. there's yeah. any yeah. response. Yeah, it's been a couple of months that they got to make. Okay. And em emphasize to them the absolute importance of that being a seven sure. line bridge. I mentioned that to you before. Mm -hmm. we, okay. It's got to be seven lines. Okay. And the other thing I was uh, like, I'm curious about the since apparently PennDOT's agreed to put that left turn stacking lane in front of the church, the cars that go up Church Street won't tie everything up. Uh, I, I'd like to know if they're going to move the the curb across the street by the drugstore over slightly and taper it because that's important in terms of uh, if you're going to, I'm assuming that you're going to buy 12 new street lights and run the street lights from the post office down mm -hmm. the corner and that, that curb, you don't want that curb to be, have a wave in it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be better. It would be really good if someone would call them and find out. Okay. I don't know, Lori, if you've heard anything about that or not. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. And the other thing I think, I think it's always been part of the macro planning that there would be some right away acquisition or use of the other side of the street to steal the space they need from both sides. But yeah, it's actually, the, I think they have that power of the joke of we can try Actually, they only have to, have to adjust the one side, and there's plenty of room there to go from yeah. 12 to 12. And the other thing, <coughs> uh, Lori, do you have to, is there any chance of getting some funding for, for the street lights? Um, we can there? look at that. Because I was going to say, I know it's going to be a couple of years, but I think it would be good to we get an application in line. We talked about adding X, you know, a certain amount of street lights each year. Right. Know. Yeah. Right now, we um, have a green light go application out for the uh, help me with this the uh, the adaptive lighting adaptive line, right. throughout town. Um, that's ready to be. Um, that's ready to be awarded at any time. I, I don't know what you mean. Adaptive lighting. Adaptive lighting is going to be in in South Bay Township and at the Charger Street Light. It reads the traffic. It reads oh, oh, automatically. So that, that, that traffic light. That, oh, yes. That, yeah. So he's talking, you're talking about street lights, like lamppost. Street light. Oh, yeah. Like damp decorative lamppost. Yeah, because um, I was going to say, I can't, I think, I mean, I don't know how to do this. Well, you there, do it. Aren't there places where you can get money that Not just for thing? street lights. There has to be uh, a streetscape associated with it. Well, we plan associated with it. I mean, we could. Um, that isn't on our forefront right now. Um, we're looking probably before we would do that, we would probably want to look at the, at the north end. Okay. I don't know, but it has to be part of a larger plan than just putting the street lights in. Yeah, I, was going to, excuse me, I was going to say, I, I know there's been some attention to the north end, but the south end is really uh, critical because well, that's three right times now. more people see that part mm -hmm. and that's the part you want to make beautiful and uh, if, if you were to include the, the advantage that we have there is like I've mentioned before or you mentioned to me we don't have to plant those skimpy little trees in the sidewalk because we can't right. the utilities you have all that space in the yards of the the church, the post office, and the and the drugstore. We can really make it a spectacular looking. Yep. Uh, the parents. Uh, all right. That's all I have. All right. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, conflict called. Uh, Juliana Petricelli. <coughs> well, this is my, probably my second time I've been in this meeting. <laughs> okay, I live up on Eisenhower Avenue. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. And I go up on Chess <coughs> extension quite often. Uh, I've been complaining about the extension quite a bit, but nobody's doing anything about it. It's it's like a, a what? It's like a wash machine. You're talking about Chess Hill? Chess Hill. You want okay. to call it Chess Hill? That's fine. Oh. Chess Hill. The concrete. The concrete. It's concrete. It's been here for probably 80 years. Um, we actually, um, it's it's on our our uh, public works um, maintenance schedule to take all of that. It's really rough. Black hawk out of there and to redo it, and then we talked about um, what we wanted to do with that hill. Right. But we've had we have streets that are worse in town than Chess, so that's why we haven't done anything with that yet. Have you ever been up here? Yeah, I've been up here. here. In fact, I was uh, visiting a house up there where where our patches need replaced. Mm -hmm. um, at uh, last week, I was at I was at their house next to the group home. 
So well, then you know what I'm talking I'm about. I'm aware, yes. Now, if it's ever going to be done or redone, uh, I would suggest it be concrete again, but it would have to be rough because in the winter time that baby is uh, really slim. Mm -hmm. you're, you're mm -hmm. going to slide down no. non-stop. Right. And also I have uh, Presley Road on top of the hill. There should be two more stop signs put up. In other words, that would make four stop, four way stop. People are coming from Presto. Uh, they're, they're coming down at the speed of 40 to 45 miles an hour. And if, you're, if I'm going up there right now, I can't see what's coming on the right side because I would, normally I would go straight. So either they have to clear out the, all the weeds that are on the right side or put up a stop sign. So that way all four would have to stop. That would probably be something the Public Safety Committee would take a look at. You're talking at the very top of Presley? At the very top on top of You're talking at uh, Calvert? <coughs> Calvert and was that it? Between Peratt and uh, Charlotte, yeah, yeah. Street. Yeah. Charlotte, Parrot. Yeah, Charlotte, not Calvert. Yeah. yeah. Presley, the, the three rows there. Right. Okay. Right now you only have two stops out. Right. You need an additional two. That might need to be some ten dollar approval since that's yeah, that's a, yeah, that's that's right. actually, a county road. Is, that you. would be something we'd have to contact Pendot about. Press the roads of Pendot. Well, I would call gladly, but they're not going to listen to me. That's why we have you guys here. Yeah, we we. Yeah. Would, I'll be glad to call them. You know, if you were to call Pendot, odds are they're going to want to look at their crash data for that road, right. Right? and we just don't have the accidents up there that would justify that. We don't like to hear that answer, but. You know, it's time we get a crash up there, generally it's late at night, early in the morning, because it's usually a drunk driver going too fast to negotiate the curve. Well, tempor temporarily, what they can do, they can clean that the, the right side of the press I, I don't see clean any issues. Bushes. So anybody who's coming up on that hill, they can see the oncoming traffic. Temporarily, that could be done. I personally don't see the mock for a stop sign up there, though. Well, and they normally want more than one where it's just a curve in the road. You have to have a kind of an event intersectional or some reason to have a traffic device. Well, I think so. You know, they, somebody should be up there. They're doing 40 miles an hour on that road. What is the speed limit? 25? 25. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And there's a lot of car holes around Bridgeville. We, we haven't started the puddle patch yet, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. All right, uh, minutes, motion of the Borough Council regarding the minutes of April 10, 2017, regular meeting as submitted. So moved. Bruce and Joe Clasmo, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Uh, planning service review, Baldwin Street Corridor. Uh, review of the scope of services with Caroline Yagel of Environment planning and design for the Baldwin Street corridor. I don't believe. Are you here? I'm for, here for Caroline. You are, you are Caroline tonight. Yes, I am. All right. Um, is there something you want to present, uh, Lori, to us um, to go over it? Well, uh, uh, Caroline was was going to go over the, the correspondence that she provided for us. So I don't know much about it, but I can explain um, the different tasks. Yeah, it's fine. Do you have a copy of the? Yes. Okay. Um, so the first task is really just refining the, the concepts that were presented uh, in the report last year, in 2015, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so that first flush would be just honing those concepts, getting a better grasp on reality. Uh, then the next two, two and three, would be uh, further refinement, especially to uh, align you folks in, in searching for the, the uh, proper grants, um, making sure you have the, you know, the supplementing graphics and yeah. reports backed up. Could you put like a timeline with these, each one of these? Because obviously this isn't gonna, it's gonna happen over a course of years, I would assume. It would, yes, for so, sure. Uh, the first one would be fairly quick, yeah. uh, you know, probably a couple month turnaround. Uh, then the next two, would also, um, yes, it would take nine months, 12 months, you know, 15, whatever, whatever the, it would really kind of 
be dependent on your grant right. schedule mm -hmm. what you're looking for um, so we typically work towards those milestones uh, and then at the end uh, any kind of corresponding meetings would be included so you can I think Carolyn told me you know you got you folks can somewhat take this as an a la carte um, you know you wouldn't have to take mm -hmm. bite off the whole thing one time right obviously. if there are certain things you want to get done um, you know it's not unusual for us to pull these tasks out okay. and that, that was up to about four uh, five so those would be the meetings okay yes and gotcha. just the corresponding meetings all right I know it's something you know. We want to. We, we're not going to obviously make a decision tonight about just right. more information. Right. Um, we would definitely would like to get together with our uh, planning commission and the council and review it. And sure. Yeah, I would assume. I'm, I don't know for sure, but typically these involve uh, public meetings as well. Sure. You know, figures two yeah. three public meetings to explain what's going on, present the concepts, present the final recommendations. Okay. Yeah. This at least gives us a budgeting. Yeah. Right. Figures to, to work with, right? Okay. And I guess we would be working with Gateway. That's why I understand. Uh, you know, we would be sort of the, the master planners per se. If this is supposed to be a, a civic space, you know, something that's a, a public amenity, we'd be focusing on the the park side of it to make sure. it, you know, site amenities for everybody. Uh, working with Gateway to get the numbers right for volumes for stormwater remediation. Great. Anybody any questions? Yeah. at this time all right thank you very much okay. appreciate thank it thank you sure uh ordinance number 995 uh this was tabled last month is there a motion to take it off the table nope all right we'll move on uh proposed ordinance number 996 uh, motion of the borough council regarding ordinance number 996 an ordinance authorizing the uh, execution of the intergovernmental inter cooperation agreement with other local municipalities establishing the robinson run dash treacherous creek municipal watershed alliance in providing for the governance thereof um, mount pleasant township mcdonald borough north fayette township oakdale borough bridgeville borough robinson township south fayette township and collier townships are the initial municipalities that will make up the alliance uh, this ordinance has been duly advertised so moved all right joe yeah. and joe glossano all those in favor all, right. all those opposed motion carries uh resolution number 2017-04 motion of the borough council regarding the resolution number 2017-04 resolution of the bridgeville borough to be included in the allegheny county community development block grant and home investment partnership programs for three year three program years 2018 2019 and 2020. so moved uh bruce and Joe Verducci, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, reimbursement and maintenance agreement, ADA curb ramp project. A motion to borough council regarding the reimbursement and maintenance agreement between the borough of Bridgeville and PennDOT for the installation of the ADA curb ramps at the intersection of McLaughlin Run Road and Mill Street, uh, Baldwin Street, Laurel Street, Spruce Way, and Coolidge Street. Estimate total project cost of $28,722.38 estimate municipal estimated municipal contribution of $5,744.47 this project will be included in the year 2018 budget so moved Bruce I'll second and Bill Henderson all those in favor aye, aye. all those opposed motion carries uh, bill list motion the borough council regarding the May 2017 bill list I'll move Joe Verucci. Second. And Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, payrolls. Motion of the Borough Council approving the payrolls of May 12th, 19, 26, and June 2 and 9, 2017. So moved. Sir Colosimo and Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, monthly report uh, motion to accept and pay any commissions due to April 2017 real estate tax collector report I'll move 
Joe Rucci and Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the March 2017 financial report. I move. Bruce, Joe Verducci. Second. Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the April 2017 police report. So move. Bill Henderson. Second. And Joe Klosma. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the April 2017 zoning report. So move. Bill Henderson. Second. And Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. All those opposed? Nobody opposed. Motion carries. Can help myself. Uh, committee reports. No report. uh, finance, Joe. I don't have a report. Today. There you go. <laughs> Park, <laughs> parks and recreation. Uh, Cog and oops, we'll mess up the works so. there, but a uh, couple things on the parks. Uh, the chief was patrolling the parks one day last week, and. There were some folks with some dogs in the parks running around with their dogs. I guess they weren't on a leash. We had the big signs, no dogs allowed in the park. So I'm going to let the chief, you want to continue the story? Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> I think it was last Thursday morning. I, I've been noticing a lot lately, a lot more people having dogs in the parks. And for 19 years now, I've been telling people to take their dogs out of the park. Since we have the signs that say no dogs coming into the park. On Thursday of last week, I went to Chartier's Park early in the morning. There was a lady with two dogs running loose. One was on a leash, one wasn't. Asked her to remove her dogs, which she did. I then went to McLaughlin Park. There was a gentleman with two dogs down there, both of them just running freely about. Again, informed him you can't have dogs in the park. He removed them. I then went to Cook School Park. There was a gentleman with two dogs in Cook School Park. He said six dogs in one day. I then came back and researched our ordinance because I've never cited anybody for having dogs in the park who merely told them to get the dogs out. Our ordinance states, <coughs> under prohibitive activity for parks, no person in attendance at a park shall allow pets to run at large out of control. So that says you can have pets in the park as long as they're under control even if they're running at large, but we have signs that say absolutely no dogs in the park. Hmm. So I know this issue was coming up about the smoking ordinance and everything, which I have my own opinion on that. I think it's the best to let it go away because no judge in this commonwealth is going to uphold that. Um, we need to decide what we want to do with the parks and dogs. If we want dogs in the park, should we have it regulated so they have to be on a leash and we have to clean up after them? Or do we not want dogs in the park at all? Um, there's pros and cons and different opinions on each side of it. Um, I think that Tom can probably chime in. If we do allow dogs in the park and have a very small child gets attacked by one, does that bring any liability on the borough? Um, but we have signs to contradict our ordinance is what I'm getting at. And when I mentioned it to the other officers that have been here as long as me, some of them even longer, they were shocked to hear that you weren't allowed to have that you were allowed. That you were allowed to have a dog in the park. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've always thought for years that <coughs> that you weren't allowed. Well, there's two levels though. On an ordinance level, if you if you have an ordinance that allows it, yeah, but council can as a property owner yes. prohibit. But you have, and I don't know if that's how the signs got there in the first place. They've been there for you. Okay, so. you as long as I've been around, it, it, there have been signs that have said no dogs in the park. On a side note, while we're on the subject, we also had a hearing with the magistrates last week, uh, one of my officers, because he cited two individuals that had alcohol and were intoxicated in Triangle Park. The judge threw the charge out because she said we do not have signs in the park saying you're not allowed to have alcoholic beverages. So if they weren't drunk, that was a separate issue, but they were drinking in the park. We're not allowed by ordinance, you're not allowed to have alcohol in the parks, right. but she threw it out because there was no sign indicating that. So we might want to clean up the park ordinance a bit and decide what we want to do, how we want to do it. If we want to make it, you have to purchase a permit to have alcohol in the parks for a special occasion. But if you do that, you should probably 
not cause a disturbance, not be unruly. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's several <coughs> different options, but these are some things we probably should address in some way. No. For, for Triangle Park, all you don't have to do anything with the orders. You just put signage up. Just like when they have the hours of operation and you, in order to cite somebody, you have to have the ordinance one, two, three up there, 200 fine or whatever the, the case may be. So, it, you know, but again, there's been times in the past where we've let people have alcohol in the park as long as they didn't create a problem. Should we have this on a permit basis where when you run a park, you have the option to get a permit for alcohol that can be revoked if you get unruly or misbehave? It might be something worth discussion. Yeah, I was already in there talking about it also. Evidently, in Scott Township, they have a uh, what is it, or like an alcohol permit? Oh, oh, yeah, they have been call here too. Some really like is well, different than here, but South Park. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't have another municipality that has one, and one is working on one right now. And actually, we just reviewed their one of their insurance policies, and the fact that you allow that does not bring liability done on you or operate as an exclusion because you're not considered to be serving and the act of allowing folks to have alcohol in your park does not create any exclusion on you. Does that refer to a dog bite also? We were talking about alcohol. I know that. But she was like a dog bite. I think the same would be there. I didn't look at our policy, but in terms of liability, the owner of the dog is responsible for the dog. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is that something we need to obviously sit down? Uh, well, well, I'm guilty as charged. I've had communion parties, graduation yes. parties. Me too. We've always had a keg down there. <laughs> no one ever got in trouble. I mean, you watch it, but uh, maybe change the ordinance to allow, probably not allow in Triangle Park, because that's a small park in that picnic stairs. Yes. The other parks. I don't know about putting a charge on it, maybe a small 10 bucks or something like that, but put on the uh, permit that you have to be responsible mm -hmm. and uh, clean up any extra garbage or stuff like that, but you have to be responsible for it. And if they sign on to that, on the permit, I mean, they're taking responsibility. Now, I, over the years, I've never really heard anything about problems done with people who get in truck and just cheap. I don't know if you could help me out with that. On occasion people will tear up when there's alcohol, but that's been minimal at best. But I think we should have it addressed in some way so that if you do have a permit to have alcohol, you have to behave, you can't be unruly, you have to be 21, you have to follow the rules like everybody else. Just my suggestion. I don't know. Yeah, I agree with you really. It's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a beer, and more or less you got to keep in control down there. It's, it's a family park. All our parks are basically family parks. And, uh, maybe we can work something out. Tom, Tom's will, he'll pull some ordinances from other neighboring communities that have. Yeah, we were just similar. working on one. I just, I'll just send it to order to circulate to all you guys. It's yeah, basically yeah. just a little, and it's nothing expensive it's just a one-page app that adds an alcohol app yeah. to your regular rental app and then has some rules that go along with it as far as the dog or animal situations that's something we're going to address also it's like i said signs contradict the order yeah, right. yeah. We'll, we'll look into that hit them all one swoop personally i don't have problems with as long as the dogs under like right. on a leash and whatnot, but I have seen people with the they're trained dogs, like they'll throw the frisbee, right. they take off and whatnot, stuff yeah. like that. And yeah, there is a leash yeah. yeah. So you don't have to do anything. I don't know. Maybe just yeah. keep them under control, yeah. clean up the mess, and uh, it's already if but some, there is a mess. The signs up and trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. The signs up and trying for what? No drinking. Um, not dogs. Well, that's what Joe said to, to have to keep it in Triangle Park, but not the others, right? Yeah, Chartiers and Block <coughs> Cook School. You're talking about alcohol, right? Right. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Anything else, Joe? Nope. All right. so Thank uh, you. That's good. <laughs> uh, public Works. Nothing, sir. Uh, Bill, public safety. I have no report, but 
Uh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, he's in Germany at a wedding. What? Yeah, yes. Germany at a wedding. <laughs> I assume not a relationship. <laughs> uh, Police Chief. Uh, just keep it brief. Um, you've been seeing on Facebook already the individual that robbed our 7-Eleven on Thanksgiving Day. Pled guilty in criminal court, received two to four years in the state penitentiary, be followed by three years of probation. However, he is still uh, waiting to answer to charges in Crawford County because whenever he was picked up on our warrant in Crawford County, he was running a meth lab. So he has other fish to fry as far as that goes. So it might be a while before he's back out. Thank you very much. Uh, solicitor. I have nothing to add to my written report. Right. Uh, Mr. Engineer, just like. I provide a written report. Uh, I'll go down real quick. The CCTV and point repair work is uh, continuing on the sanitary sewers. We had the pre construction meeting on uh, last week, and solar construction will be mobilizing this Thursday for uh, starting the point repair works on Missouri Street. Uh, backflow preventers on Baldwin Street. We discussed with the manager program for the installation of back prevent preventers on back Baldwin Street. I know the letters have been sent out in the past. There is some interest. Uh, I believe there's a list of interested property owners, and money has been budgeted for the product. Uh, we are requesting authorization to proceed with the preparation of plans and specifications for bidding of the project, if uh, council so wishes. Okay. We'd like to get started on that. All right. You make a motion right now. Motion to Bruce start the process. Yes. Neil, second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? So. Motion carries. Uh, 2017 payment maintenance program contracts have been executed with Youngblood Paving. Uh, we're waiting for Coliseum to complete the trench repaving where the water lines were installed, uh, which they did start some work in the borough on other roads that were not included in the road program, namely Hickman Street. And uh, they will begin to our contract roads over the next few weeks. So, once we see some progress with Colosimo, we'll get a pre construction meeting scheduled with Youngblood and get that going. Uh, the Bower Hill Road will work. I've been in communication with People's Gas uh, to uh, set up a meeting uh, with them regarding our restoration work. I want to get a commitment from them that they're going to mill and resurface the one lane uh, before we get T.A. Robinson in there moving with the work that he has within his scope and have T.A. Robinson do the work for them in re reimbursement. Right. Excuse me one second, Jim. Yeah. Mr. Fryer, Mr. Petroselli, if you guys need to talk, you, would you mind? Because I can't hear because I hear the echo and I'm hearing you know, your whole conversation. I can't even hear him. He's right in front of me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, nothing new to report on the Buckle Run Park project. Nothing new to report on the Washington James development. And nothing new to report on the Short Tears Washington, Short Tears Creek Bridge intersection. All right. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Fire Chief Bill Chilio. Thanks, Mr. President. You guys got my report for the last two months. And the other thing to keep it short also is I'd like to thank everybody that attended the Cat Patch of the weekend, ours and Carnegie's Cat Patch. Uh, very nice turnout. And everybody enjoyed themselves. Thanks for the support. All right. Uh, Dan's not here for Southbridge. Um, do we have any? I know we could, could we do on the agenda. Do we have all three listed: library, parking, planning? And it looks like one of them or two of them are not here because we said we're going to have to alternate and put whoever is going to be here on okay. the agenda and the other two. So it doesn't look like they're missing it. Okay. You know. Sure. So sure. I don't know whose month it is it. It it would be. Um, we had. Well, Becky was here yeah, last, last month. month. Planning was here yeah. last month. So no, it, planning it was two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. So, be, so be, I mean, no, parking was two months ago. Park parking was two months ago. Planning was here last month. Yeah. So it would be back <coughs> in library. No. And she's not here. And she's not so, here. Right. So so next month would be parking. Okay. So gotcha. I'll, I'll put that on and I'll. Yeah, it looks like it looks like you can notify here. them. Too. Yeah. yeah, let them know that that's all right. Okay, do unless Nina, unless you have something for planning. Well, yes and no. All right. I, I just hope we can make the uh, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry uh, to talk over there, but uh, you have a question like the answers, and maybe we shouldn't do that. 
can do it. We want ours there, yes. Thank you. Uh, I just heard the uh, comment from the uh, consultant. It is news to me, and I'm glad that, not to be too entire by the planning commission, obvious. <coughs> and I'm glad that, of course, you don't make any decision. You can't, and you mentioned planning commission. As far as I can understand there, uh, you have more than one phase. They're all obvious. I believe you have over $50,000 for what Carol's proposed. Long term. In long term. Of which you can pick and choose <coughs> things that you want sure, to do. But, in but yeah. I think the first phase may be three, four thousand because it still is close to $3,000 in the budget yeah. for them. Maybe you can do something with that. Uh, maybe a couple thousand, depend on the financial situation. Mm -hmm. And we can start moving something on, on this project. Well, it's just information. You know. It's just information. Yeah, we're, yeah. we, we're going to you know, digest it and see uh, where I'm, we go. I'm sure it's, it is a, quite a bit of money there. Mm -hmm. But when. We're going to actually, when will this council will like to really be serious, mm -hmm. really to put something done as first phase, as a third phase? I think something actually should be done, at, at least have a, something that some money that you need, the next uh, budget meeting, maybe you can increase that. Yep. I feel that the first phase of maybe four or five thousand dollars to extra I asked for for one of the uh, paper to the gentleman and he said it's the only one I have. I would like to uh, yeah, on behalf of the planning commission to uh, to have some information on that. Uh, even though I'll have a you, you. There's gonna be a planning commission this month. We have uh, a site plan on it. Oh, good, thank you. All right. If I'm out of order, just tell me, because there'll be the proper things to do. There's so much criticism and ideas for the parking authority. I mean, this is the, the talk of the town. Is this I mean, planning commission worse stuff, Nina? It's worse Nina, than is this, is this planning commission stuff? Because I, I brought you up here to talk about planning commission. Yes. Okay. This is not Thank planning you. commission. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Lori Collins, borough manager. Well, I might submit in my report if anyone has any questions. Okay. Uh, old business. New business. Motion to adjourn. So Anybody else second it? Second. Bill Anderson, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, uh,